Uh, oh, he's a bit of a. Oh, I don't like saying this about him because he's a good big head, but no, he's a bit of a beast. Um, he's a Canterbury man through and through. He grew up in Christchurch. Uh, so I know he's he loves the area. He's a, he's a rural man as well, so he's always been that. Um, I don't know just a strong bugger and uh, playing aside him and scrums and stuff. You never really have to worry about he's, what he's doing on his side because he's no matter what he always delivers and um, just a top bloke. I uh, sort of think uh, we were almost the same year academy as we were coming through the ranks and he's one of those guys that will tell you how it is, there's no beating around the bush and um, that's what I think I respect most about uh, him as a person is that he's honest but he knows how to have a good time and um, he works really hard. Uh, he loves a gym session and yeah, probably needs to hit the track a bit more. <laughs> I don't think he'll give much away in terms of emotion, but I think deep down he'd be quite proud. Yeah, being a Christchurch boy, I think it's it's a huge moment for him, and it's uh, it's awesome to see, you know, because he's sort of he as a young fella, he didn't really like play all those rep teams and stuff, so he's worked really hard, and he just yeah excelled, and ever since maybe what 2015, he came on the scene with that World Cup, and um, yeah, he just hasn't looked back, and he's playing unreal footy.